Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, we are talking for this finals. This majority is gonna be on your co-part or community organizing participatory action research. Your community organizing participatory action research is a combination of two programs that actually combine together, which is your community organizing and your part, which is your participatory action research. That is the video about community organizing I've already sent to you guys. That's basically it is. Okay, and if you're going to apply that into questions later on in your exam, it's gonna be analysis. Now, for the uh, participatory action research, from the word itself, it's participatory action research. It comes with co coordination and collaboration between the community and the outside resources, which is us, the outside researchers, okay, the nurses. Okay, action meaning we have to do an intervention to whatever problem is identified within the community. Now, for the traditional research, it is referring to the research that you're actually doing in school. Okay, so for example, your thesis, your case presentation, your survey researches, those are researches that are going you within the school. Now, in order for us to understand what is PAR, we have to differentiate the two. Okay, differentiating them using these different aspects, your problem identification, researchers, methods, reuse of results, purpose of research, okay? For the problem identification, as we already know, this can either be done individually or just a few member of the group, okay? Done individually or just a few member of the group. While in your participatory action research, this is done through a consultative approach or through social transformation. From the word itself, social, it means there is an inter relation okay among others you have to work with others that's why it is written there consultative because you have to consult the community people in the first place it is the, their problem that we want to solve not ours are we clear yes now in terms of the researchers who will be doing the research of course for traditional tayo na mga outsider like for example for those who have community yung group nila miss baronga they were trying to conduct a research in barangay happy Harlow. Okay, so you will, you, your group is going to decide on what will be the, uh, the, the, uh, ano tabi to? the direction of your research. However, pag iyon ginawa po yung research, or for example, the community health assessment needs, like what we did during our community exposure, that is actually a research. But what we did is we identified the problem based on what the community identified as a problem. Clear? Okay. So, in part, it is a concentrated effort of the community with the people, okay, community people with the outsiders providing assistance. So, nandun lang tayo to answer questions and queries of the community in case na meron silang mga na hindi naitindihan in relation to research. Okay? Another one is methods. In traditional, we make use of highly technical approach. We say highly technical, yan, nakapasok si Slovene's formula. Ano ba? T-test, chi-square, ano pa? O, lahat ng test na gusto nyo. O, HIV test. O, oh, technical din yun. Okay, test test, gusto nyo. Okay, highly technical. So, you have to define what's qualitative and quantitative. Kayo nga na nakapag-aral, hindi na pinitindiin yun. Sila pa kaya. Okay, while your participatory action research is making use of the available resources in the community. So, such as the local culture and the innovativeness of the people. For example, if they are good with weaving, then you conduct a program in relation to weaving. If they, if they are good with handcrafts, then you create a program in relation to handcrafts. If they are good with farming, then you create a research in relation to farming to increase their production. Okay? That's how it goes in terms of your participatory action research. The use of result, result, uh, results in traditional, it's mostly manipulated by the experts, meaning decision-making will solely be by us, the implementers, the researchers. While in the community participatory action research, we have to involve the people, tell them what the problem is, then let them decide on what is the priority problem and what would be the solution that they're going to use or do. Okay, ano ang trabaho natin doon? Just to entertain questions, or clarifications that they don't understand. And the last one is the purpose. For the purpose, the traditional research, the purpose is purely academic and publication. So basically, pag sa inyo, academic, 
for you to graduate the course or the the profession bachelor of science in nursing okay para sa amin naman ng mga registered nurses na okay and we are already on our postgraduate degrees okay the reason is for us to uh, to increase our ano tawag, ranking and ranking in terms of our job and of course for us to have a book that is already been published kasi it, 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 it uh the more books that you're able to publish kasi the the higher your rank will be okay especially in the academy okay that's how we uh we you do it in the additional research why the participatory action research the research is designed to address the long term problems in the community so the mga long term problems sa community for example kawalan ng trabaho Okay, low income status of the community, malnutrition in the community, and so on and so forth. Okay, so those are the problems existing in the community. So that's basically the difference between a traditional and participatory action research. So if you connect that with community organizing, so basically community organizing participatory action research is a sustained and continuing process of educating the people for them to become organized and work as a group. After they were organized, we are going to mobilize them as, okay, as a group also, and put things into action until the achievement of the end goal of community organizing, which is what community development. Okay, they will be going to perform action researches identified by identifying the problem while involving the people into action so if you involve the people into action identifying the problem according to the needs of the community which will solve or, or which will solve long term problems in the community so it's more on changing their lives rather than increasing their knowledge clear tayo yes okay now still part of the planning guys okay planning community health interventions okay planning is a process that entails formulation steps to be undertaken in the future in order to achieve a desired end. So planning takes place in order to achieve a desired end. And in general, planning is done in our desire to improve the present state of affairs. For the press, for the planning, or, or for the improvement of the present state of affairs na community. Now, in doing your planning, guys, okay, in doing your planning, there are several factors that may affect the planning process. What are these factors? Can I proceed? Okay. What are these factors that can affect now the planning process? These factors include existing health policies and legislation. Of course, even though you want to do something, but if it's not in accordance with the existing policy, then you cannot implement it. Okay? Levels of technology in the area. Okay. You cannot create a program or an answer to a particular problem. Okay? By implementing, okay, or by adapting to new technology. Di ba, what's an approach na lang yung halina? For example, the problem in the community is yung kawalan ng electricity. Okay? So, kawalan ng, wala natin lang electricity. So, sabi nila ang problema yun, kasi ang dami nilang hindi pwede gawin. So, ang ginawa mong solusyon, para makahawag kayo ng community, since malayo kayo sa Bineco, ang gagawin natin, gagawa kayo ng hydroelectric power plant. Social. Hydroelectric power plant. Okay? Posting ka ng kuryente, hindi mo magawa. Hydroelectric power plant pa kaya. Okay? So when you try to solve the problem, you have to solve it in using a technology approach available in the community. Okay? Another one, economic resources. Di ba? O ang sabi mo, since wala pa yung kuryente, marayong pineko dito, all of you should uh, should buy, uh, ano? Ano to? Um... Generator. Generator, hindi lang, hindi nila magbili. Gaas nga, hindi nila magbili. Okay, so because of the economic resources. So you have to consider that. Next, the presence of programs. So if there is already an existing program addressing the same problem, it's gonna be affecting your approach as well. Next, institutions that are supportive of that may conflict with the proposed programs. Like for example, if you have uh, chosen a community, okay, with existing institutions that are already in it. Tapos may ginagawa na sila, and the same approach ang gusto mo, then definitely, it will fast track your planning. However, if, you're, if you go to the community, tapos yung kanilang goal is different from yours, it's gonna be conflicting. Okay? So it's gonna make the planning and the process a bit longer comparing kapag sila ay nag-aagwi sa gagawin. 
In addition, the nurse will find herself working with other members of the health team or with other sectors that may have different orientation or strategies. So definitely po, if you have conflicting set of goals, if you have conflicting uh, ideas with regards to addressing a particular problem, then that would definitely affect okay, your own planning process na meron tayo. Okay, for example, pag gumagawa kayo ng research, di ba? Ang gusto ng kasama mo, yung leader mo, we have to uh, sleep over. Overnight tayo. Kailangan natin tapusin to. Hindi, girl, may gagawin na po bukas. Kutling ay tingay idea. Itong gusto niya, sabi niya, gusto niya na matapos. Di ba, two weeks pa naman. O itong leader mo naman, hindi, ah, tapusin na natin. Ba't intay mo pa yung two weeks? Ah, may pa naman. Ba't pati nagmamadali? So, conflicting ideas. Gusto ba yan sa group weeks nyo? Yun na Saka sila magnangaungaw kapag malapit na ang list. Ba't kasi hindi pa natin tinapos nung una? Tanga. <laughs> Naaya ka naman. Ayaw mo lang. Okay? Pag ganyan, ay, pag ako ang leader ng group, tas pag, pag na, ako, diba sinabi nila, ikaw nila ang leader, kasi ikaw magaling. O sige, ako ang leader. Bukas mag-meet tayo. Pwede next time na lang kag Tara. Isipain ko yung groupmate kong yun. Okay, tatagalin ko yung pangalan niya. Why? You assign me that is you assign me as the leader. Meaning you have to follow me, tama? Yes. Kaya pag sinabi ng leader, mag-adjust ka. Kung hindi ka man makakarating on time, dapat makarating ka. Ganun yun. Eh, pwede yung kwan. Since four hours naman, yung one hour, yung video, yung video, yung pupunta na ako sa glit. Then dumating ka on that, uh, on that second hour. Okay, yun sa group. Hindi yung totally, wala kang gagawin. Okay? Ala, busy ngayon ako. Ang laba ako. Pantik. Mano nga pantik naman, tanlo. <laughs> diba? Ay, yung mga ganyan. Kaya sila sabi ko sa inyo, hindi mo natapos ang research na yan kung hindi nyo gagawin na ng family, especially with the leaders. Unless, willing kang gawin lahat kasi sama mo, sama mo yung pangalan nila. Yan, pwede. Pero kung yung ikaw lahat gagawa, ay my God. Sipain palabas yan. Buti pa ako nung ako estudyante, mahilig, ma, 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 masyado akong active, nakikipag-cooperate ako lagi. Ate, may ipo-photocopy ba? Ganun ako lagi. Okay. Kasi yun lang naman ang kaya kong gawin. <laughs> Mag-photocopy. Gusto mo pabili ng pagkain? Kung nagatang ka man, pambili. <laughs> Utosan ako nung estudyante ako. Di ba? And uh, what else? Okay? The next thing is the, okay, the summarize the concerns of planning. So planning has to be futuristic. Okay? It's change-oriented. Dapat is flexible siya. Whatever change that may occur during the implementation of the planning process, you have to be dynamic. Okay? You have to be dynamic. You have to be flexible, you have to be change-oriented, and of course, since this is a process, it has to be systematic. Okay? Kaya nga ganun, di ba? Kaya nga may sistema kayong sinusundan when you're doing your research, isn't it? Kaya may checklist kayo, and your, your advisors are there to guide you all throughout. Okay? Swerte ka kung yung advisor is ok-ok talaga with regards to research. May mga ganun din. Eh. Ok-ok din naman ako sa research. Kaso, sa ok-ok ako, ganito talaga naiintindihan. Kaya hindi ko din kayo matutulungan. Okay? Magaling lang ako mag-critic. May ganun, no? Ang galing mag-critic, hindi alam gumawa. May mga ganun, di ba? Nagkataon lang nandun ako sa magaling mag-critic. Hindi marunong gumawa. Okay? Ang galing, ang galing ko kasi tumingin ng mali. Ganun yung mali ko, hindi ko makita. Ganun ba yan? Ay, may mga proseso. Planning cycle, guys. If you are doing your planning, you have to ask these particular questions into yourself. Number one, where are we now? You be, am I right? <laughs> where are we now? Pag sinabi natin, where are we now, guys? This is already your situational analysis. So where are we? So we have the plans. We have a start with it already. So what are the things that we've already done or finished doing? What are the things that we need to do? And what are the things that we need to reevaluate? Okay? So that is your, where are we now? Saan na ba tayo ngayon? Nagpisahan na ba natin? Nasa gitna na ba tayo? Patapos na ba tayo? Okay, you have to be aware of that so that it will what? You still follow the systematic process. Other one is, where do we want to go? That's why setting your goals and objectives is very important. And I believe I already emphasized the difference between the goals and objective. A goal is more on general while objective is more on specific. Okay, and how do we get there? So how do we get there is the plan. These are the interventions in order for you to achieve your plans. Okay, like for example, when is your exam? Uh, two weeks from now? Yes. Two weeks from now is your exam. Your goal is to pass the exam. Diba? Question, how are you going to do it? Basta, sir. Mindset. 
I will pass the exam. Para niyo ang kanya nasa jati kami, di ba? Uh, are you going to pass the board exam? Yes. What is the double choice of? <laughs> so, alam niya lang ang goal niya. Pero hindi niya lang kung paano niya i-achieve. Paano mo i-achieve yun? You set goals. When you set goals, you have to set also activities on how to achieve that goal. If your goal is to pass MS, kasi yun na naman ang delikado ka, then what should you do? You are lack more time in reviewing MS. Di ba? If your goal is to pass all the subjects, then you have to make a plan, which should I review first, and which should I review last. Those are your strategies. Di ba? If I want to pass my subject, by Facebook, deactivate. By TikTok, deactivate. Messenger lang. Okay? O kaya, manunod ka lang kung ano yung mga videos na available. That is your strategy to pass, isn't it? If my strategy to pass is to copy the answer of my friends, that is still a strategy, but not a nice one, kasi you're not sure kung tama ba yung sagot na friend mo. Tama? But still, it's a strategy. My point here is that if your goal is to pass the exam, then as early as now, you should have already a plan. Kung ano ng plano mo? Oh, wala. Kaya, <laughs> kaya, how do we get there? How will I pass? Tanong yung sarili ngayon yan. Ang grade ko is 71. Midterm. Ang grade ko 72. Midterm. Ang grade ko 73. Midterm. Ang grade ko 74. Midterm. 75 ang grade ko pero lahat ng quiz ko so far bagsak. Two weeks from now. What is my plan? Will I cheat? One option. Will I go in the untag dito? Susuhulan ko ba ng burger si Mr. Pasqua? I'm cheap. Am I right? Pag susuhulan mo si Mr. Pasqua, dapat house and lot. Tsaka car. And 1.5 million. Para tanggalin man ako bukas, secure na ako. Did you get it? Ibig sabihin, imposible. Okay, imposible. And how do we know that we are there? Okay, how do we know that we are there? Meaning, you have to set a goal and that goal should be what? Smart. What is smart? Okay, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Ang grade mo ngayon, 72. By finals, ang grade ko, 85 na. Go! Push mo yan. Diba? Diba? Realistic. For example, if your grade sa, sa midterm is 78, actually, ang goal mo lang for midterm para makakuha ng 75 is 73. Ng finals. Kapag 78 ang grade mo ng midterm, ng midterm, all you have to do is to get 73 by finals. You will get a grade of 75. Ganyan yung computation nun. But if you want higher, and then you get you go get higher. So, wag kang mag-stick sa 73, you go with 78. Parang finals mo, 78 din. Eh, ayaw ko sir. Gusto ko mas mataas. Then you go with 80 plus. Diba? Kaya nga later on, uh, may mga, uh, I will go to explain also my, uh, the criteria for you in, the, in terms of your final, final exam. Okay? I'm going to explain all of that later on. Now, to go into specific, okay? Planning cycle, situation analysis is, you ask the question, where are we now? And it involves the collection Synthesization, analyzation, and interpretation of all the information in a manner that will provide a clear picture of the health status of the community. So it brings out the health problems of the community in this phase of the planning cycle. The nurse identifies and provides explanation to the problem. Okay? Then in this case, pwede kang gumawa ng problem 3 and the problem 3 can lead her to the probable causes of health status problems. Okay? Now, next is the goal and objectives. This is basically the goal setting. Goals and objectives will serve as the guide for the nurses. Okay, efforts. Okay, to achieve what he or she specifically want to achieve. Now, I uh, discussed already the difference between a goal and objective. A goal setting is a goal lead to a desired end. And the desired end may be a total change, improvement, or maintenance of a situation. It is directed towards solving the health status problem 
which the nurse identified in the community diagnosis. Generally broad, not constrained by time or resources, and state ultimate desired state. Like for example, uh, at the end of the nursing intervention, the community will be able to increase the number of vaccinated individual. Okay? Vaccinated individual. So that can be your uh, goal. Okay? Now, for the objective, it's more specific. Okay? More precise. There are considered as plan and point of all activities and objectives are concerned with the resolution of the health problem itself. They need to be stated in specific and measurable terms. So specific and measurable terms. So for example, instead of just telling that at the end of the nursing intervention, the community will be able to increase the number of vaccinated individuals, instead of just increasing, you would tell that at the end of the nursing intervention, the community will be able to increase the number of vaccinated individuals by 70%. Yan. Magiging measurable na siya. Clear tayo? Yes. And... The strategy, okay, is the activity setting. How do we get there? Defines the strategies and activities in order to realize the goals and objectives. It implies the identification of resources, manpower, money, materials, technology, and time and institution needed to implement a program. So basically, you will be able to, you will be identifying, okay, based on the availability of the indigenous resources, how am I going to solve the problem? Clear? So, what are the strategies? Baka sabihin mo na naman na increase the number of nurses. Okay. Manpower yan. Tama? Ang tanong, enough bang pwede mo ma-hire ng nurses? Yes, sir. Ang tanong, may enough bang pera para ipasahot? Kailangan may consider. Tama? Yes. Okay? For example, increase the production of the materials by 100%. Okay. Tanong, may enough naman power ba? Yes. Tanong, may enough bang pera? Ano naman? Did you get that? Yes. So you have to consider that. And the evaluation plan is you're going to ask the nurse to possess the questions. How do we know that we are there? In order to find out if the programs and services achieve the purpose of which they were formulated. So under this one, you're going to make a criteria. So, the criteria mo, the criteria will be based on the goals and objective sets. Pag sinabi mo above 70% ang nabakunahan, then tignan mo sa criteria mo, dapat 70% ang nabakunahan. Check this yun. Clear? And in evaluation, evaluating planning steps, you have to decide what to evaluate in terms of the relevance, progress, effectivity, impact, and efficiency. Designing the evaluation plan specific the evaluation indicators, data needed, methods, and tools for the data collection. So, determine mo na, then after that, you are going to collect the data. You collect the data the same way that you collect it during assessment. Okay? So, you collect mo ngayon yung data the same way you collect it for assessment. Then, you're going to analyze. So, analyze together with the community. Ang goal natin is from 30% na bakunado, gusto natin maging 70% na bakunado. So out of 100, out of the 1,000 population natin, ilan na bakunado? Dapat nasa 700 yan. So ilan na nabakunahan? 755. So pasok ba? Yes. Okay? Let's analyze the data. Now, since pasok, achieve ba ang ating goal? Is it met, partially met, or unmet? If it's about the 70% marking, then it's fully met. Isn't it? If it's below the 70% marking, pero hindi siya naka-receive ng 70%, that's partially met. Kung hindi na dagdagan, still 30%, then that's your unmet. That's the decision making, together with the people. Then, once you have a decision, you prepare a report and provide decision makers feedback on the program. So, ito po yung goal natin. Dapat 70%. After po natin mag-programa, ganito, ganyan, ganyan, we are able to receive 69%. Sayang po, ilan na lang, na-achieve na sana natin. Sir, ako na, babakuna ako ngayon. Tanawin mo muna kung nabakunaan na. Baka naman magdo-double dose. Okay? So, i-check natin yon. the program evaluation. So, saan tayo nagkulang? Okay, for example, ang, ang ating goal is 70%, ang nabakunahan lang, 50%. So, saan tayo nagkulang? Okay, kasi sir, wala sila sa bahay na nagpupunta kami. Kasi sir, ganito, kasi ganyan. Okay, then we have to redo the strategy. 
Since ito yung mga problema, wala sila sa bahay. Mostly, anong oras kaya sila nasa bahay? Siguro sa mga alas 5 ng gabi pa. Alas 5 hanggang gabi. O di ibig sabihin, palitan natin yung oras ng pagpapakuna natin. Imbis na 8 to 12, gawin natin 5 to 9. Sure kasi nasa bahay sila. Nakikuha niyo po ba? Yes, that's changing the strategy. Parang NCP din. Di ba? Pag NCP kasi pag nasa evaluation ka na, you have to evaluate. Did you meet the desired goal or not? Kung hindi mo siya na-met, then anong gagawin mo? You go back to your assessment. Baka naman may mali sa assessment ko. Sinabi ko lang na 30% ang napakunahan, pero ang totoo pala niyan is ganito na. Sinabi ko na 1,000 ang population, pero ang totoo, nasa 700 lang pala. Kaya pala hindi mo ma-achieve achieve yung goal mo, kasi kulang naman talaga ang tao sa community. Remember, when we went to the community, we are trying to achieve ganitong number, pero nakukuha lang natin ganitong number, pero para may ikot mo naman na lahat. Kasi yung actual number pala is different from the nasa, na, 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 na compile. Okay? So kung, 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 kung paano nila nakuha, hindi nila natin alam. Pero yung actual number na nakuha natin sa bahay. Okay? Same thing with this one. Okay? Preparing a report. So do you have any questions? Kasi if you don't have any questions, we're done. Uh, diba? We're done for today's discussion.